Little announcement for all of my fans out there, I want to apologize, but I'm no longer doing videos about movie stars. These are exclusively rap videos now. Yeah, the beat's stripped back like it's wearing a toga. The roots do a lot with a little just like Yoda. Oh yeah. Wait, what? This guy can act too? I brought the message, I'm the pilot. Oh my god, stop the music. No, take me back to the acting. How did I ever think I could leave you? I'm so sorry. Please take me back. Welcome to A Tough Act to Follow. I'm Preston, aka The P Illuminator, and I will be your minimally paid intern here to navigate you around the streets of the nightlife of Hollywood. And before I get started, I just want to make sure that everyone is getting the full experience of The P Illumination. So be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And check me out on Patreon for exclusive behind the scenes looks. Links below. And I feel like this video is going to be long overdue because I'm all about promoting actors who provide diverse and powerful work from all backgrounds, and as the landscape of Hollywood shifts, it needs to show more cultures and tell better stories about a wider array of voices than it has been doing, and those actor portrayals often have to come from various places, and actors of Middle Eastern descent are starting to have a turn in terms of what kind of roles they're being allowed to play. Often in the past few decades, those who look like they come from the Middle East get shoved into roles that are specifically for, well, terrorists, or someone else trying to instigate some sort of religious plot. But now that landscape is finally changing, and it's due to the strong work of many actors who are also speaking out about these stereotypes. And one of the ones who's leading that charge is Riz Ahmed. And what is it about Riz that makes him stand out? Well, he's built a phenomenal resume in only a couple of decades, and much of his work has shown a diversity in truly human storytelling that makes him the perfect candidate to show both what can change to actors given less typecast roles and then show their potential growth over the next few decades of their careers. And because of his ability to break down stereotypical characters, provide complex and award-worthy performances, and ultimately show that he's only just getting started, there is no doubt that Riz Ahmed is most certainly a tough act to follow. So let's start by addressing the elephant in the room. Actors of Middle Eastern descent, as I've already said, are often typecast in the roles as terrorists. This trend was increased exponentially between the Gulf War of the 80s and 90s, and then escalated to absurd heights in the 2000s after the September 11th terror attacks. And for the next decade, it seemed like any time someone with a slight tan showed up in a movie set about anything even remotely related to terrorism, you had better believe that they were either the antagonists, or at least someone who could figure out the bigger problem at hand because they either defected or knew someone who was working on the problem. This became such a frequent occurrence that a pair of researchers in the UK coined the term the Riz Test, specifically because, like everyone else, Riz has played a terrorist more than once, and for the first eight or so years of his career was in a movie or two that at least involved terrorism. But the one time that he really played a terrorist, he actually managed to do something incredibly different with it. You lot are a bunch of packy bashes. What? Mounty boys. Gays. <sighs> yes. We're so gay. I'm not. Yes, you are. We all are. But mainly is these two. Ain't it, Norman? Yes. Yeah, you love it, don't you? But we, 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 we've got to get down to some gay business now, all of us. What separates this role from the majority of the other ones that came out at the same time is that Omar is the character that we feel for and the movie is played for laughs. All the stereotypes that come from the usual terrorist roles are broken so that we can be both comical and also show humanity in these characters and make the stereotypes go away as a result. I said before the best satire is honest and this allows itself to be honest in multiple ways. Firstly, Riz isn't playing it for laughs, he's playing honestly and in that way he is ultimately helping the character be more realistic. But he's still living in this wild and absurd story that wants us to laugh at it. Proper Mujahid, yeah? Yeah. Proper dingy rappers, yeah, brother. Mind that way now. All right, okay. All right, come on. Flip it, pop it, brother. Yeah. Flip it, pop it. Okay. Rudroma! <sighs> the Arabs! The Emir! Oh. Oh. oh, flipping shit. But breaking down stereotypes doesn't just mean doing satire. It has to be more than that. Because while making jokes about stereotypical characters does serve a purpose, to truly defy those characterizations, you have to show that they are more than that. 
and Riz has crafted a resume of smart, capable humans who absolutely showcase his ability to be calm, intelligent, and rational across the whole spectrum of the movie. Riz is a really smart and attentive actor, and he knows how to take care to really show the full potential of every moment. All of that gives him advantage in his interactions because he is outthinking everyone. He knows more than he appears to know, and that gives him power. Hmm. How are you making your way down south? Uh, I have a seat in a covered wagon. How long do you get to Frisco? The question is not how long before I get there. The question is what state will I be in when I do, if I do? And to be honest with you, my faith in my host is very limited. I rifle through my belongings several times. Whenever I take out my money, their eyes are like daggers. But pure intelligence is not useful by itself. There has to be a true human connection to really make that intelligence shine. And this is why Riz has defied so many stereotypes, because he can pull people in. He knows how to use his secrets strategically and his humanity charmingly, and the pair connects him with his scene partners, but even more than that, it connects him with us. We the audience get drawn into the story because Riz is letting us in alongside the characters, and it's making his character stand out for his humanity rather than him being a broad caricature. I once asked John Morris how he ended up working for the Commodore. He said something along the lines of he wanted to break free from his family, wanted to seek a sense of adventure. And I thought, well, those reasons are honest enough. How about you? How did you end up here? Uh, did my question upset you? No. And yet sometimes, like a lot of actors, he has to play characters with less than savory histories and actions, especially when you look at the kind of actor who is portraying them. But still, Riz knows how to make them defy the usual portrayals by really grounding the stories those characters are telling. By grounding the stories in the reality of the world, it helps create this sense of atmosphere that really sells the big moments as well as the small ones. And all of this rests on his shoulders because without his work as a character, we'd lose most of it. Now when you get your weight from me, off the price. You're gonna keep this noise down for me, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Because if I get one complaint from next door, one single fucking complaint, I'm gonna come back in here, I'm gonna take your TV, take your stereo, and I'm gonna shove them up my bird's ass. Do you understand me? And then you escalate the tension. You take this pressure and you just keep building it up. Once the pressure gets to a boiling point, you can watch Riz turn on this talent for internalizing and then externalizing these deep feelings across his whole being. His eyes, his posture, his muscle tensions, and the vocal choices that he makes all push that intensity forward. And yes, we've seen these tricks in some other actors, but Riz makes one thing more noticeable than most of them, and that is the tempo of his character's choices. Tempo and pace are not things we readily think about until they go wrong, so when an actor can make you make note of those changes, you should. Riz is one of those actors who makes us take note. And so far we've seen Riz either playing a leading role in each story or at least having a very strong influence on what's happening. But he does all of this in his supporting roles as well. And he can make the character fit into the story super well regardless of how it comes out. The way he uses these skills and talents to keep control in his hands applied to a situation where he has absolutely no control whatsoever really shows just how versatile his skills truly are as he strains to keep control of anything that he can until there is no way that he can hold on to it at all. Oh god. 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 Oh god.
And these moments are not only in the massive high points either, Riz keeps all of this in the quiet moments too. And in some ways he makes the quiet moments, the small moments, the moments where we shouldn't really be excited about them, more intense than some of the big ones. By adding intensity to what should be a very low stakes situation, it makes it compelling and dynamic in a way that we want to know more details. Which, because it's a small moment, we may not get firm answers to. Riz can take a throwaway scene and just draw us in with his ability to keep it focused and intense because of the work he's doing to bring his character to our imaginations. How much? Pick a number. You pick a number. $175? Agreed. Wait, uh, what about, what about more, you know? Not now. We close the deal. And all of this has led him to play a lead in several films which were not designed for a man of Middle Eastern descent specifically. With very few exceptions here, the movies that we've featured have rarely had anything to do with his heritage or background, and that is what the push for diversity is all about. We don't see the actor for the roles that they played, we see them for the roles that they could play, and if we gave them those chances, we would give them more chances to play wider arrays of roles. And what happens when you get an actor, like Riz, taking on stories all about a manner of intriguing and compelling ideas? rather than playing a series of characters who get less and less human and more and more cartoonish. Talk to him. Talk to him. Hey, Hector, what's going on, man? It's Ruben. I'd say it's good to hear your voice, but I can't hear a fucking word you're saying right now, so this is completely pointless. Lou wanted me to call you because I had a cigarette. Uh, you know, not great, not ideal, but considering the circumstances, which are pretty fucked up, you know, understandable. I'd say understandable for everyone apart from Lou, it seems. There is something very important about this moment in movie making history, because for so long it was virtually impossible for minorities to play characters with the level of depth and complexity that Riz brings to this movie. He's getting to play a purely human character with all the levels of depth and complexity that come from his internal struggles and emotional responses, rather than a character defined by how they look, sound, and live within society. Instead, he gets to tell a pure story of a human being wrestling with life, change, and all the aspects that come from these big, earth-shattering moments. He doesn't just have to come in, say the expected line, or play the expected characters. He gets to be human, and we get to watch those phenomenal works as a result. And yes, I know this whole episode might seem a bit preachy, but it's necessary. Because I hope you can see that Riz is one of the actors on the forefront of this change. His work is existing in a wide variety of movies, and it's becoming less and less about stories of him as a minority, and more and more about stories of him as a human, who is as complex and dynamic as anyone else. So why do we like Riz Ahmed? 1. Riz defies stereotypes. While many actors of Middle Eastern descent can get stuck playing terrorists or religious leaders of similar style and tone over and over again, Riz takes these roles and lets them be different. By breaking through the expected, it allows him to really take the characters in interesting directions rather than becoming forgettable or one note. 2. Riz is smart. Intelligence is not the only criteria for being a good actor, but it certainly helps. Riz uses his intelligence to help build compelling connections and keep control within scenes. These talents not only help him connect with the other characters, but also make the audience follow his wit and knowledge rather than his appearance. 3. Riz controls tempo. When the tone of a moment changes, Riz shows the change not through purely emotional responses, but also by changing the tempo of his character's actions. This shift, whether increasing or decreasing the pace, alters the tone of his character and ultimately allows him to keep engagement through the varied pace of his character choices. 4. Riz builds intensity. In high octane moments as well as small but compelling ones, Riz knows how to turn the dial up to make moments more intense for his characters. This intensity adds a compelling element to the performances, and that keeps us engaged even as the story takes wild twists or heartbreaks breaking turns. 5. Riz creates humans. 
Riz gives every character a deep and complex backstory, set of motivations and actions, and that helps make the character more and more human as they progress. When a character could be stereotypical, he instead takes the time to find the truth of that character, and that makes all the stories that character gets to tell better. Look, I know this episode is a lot more focused on how Riz Ahmed defies stereotypes, or at least it seems that way on the surface, but truly he wouldn't have done that without being a talented actor first and foremost, and he's continuing to showcase his skills across widely different types of movies. And because this has already built a really exciting filmography to watch, I'm going to show you some of the highest highlights. These are my five essential Riz Ahmed performances. 1. Four Lions While yes, this black comedy can certainly seem controversial, it is a stellar look at the exaggerated response to Middle Eastern terrorism from both the government overblowing how frequent it is, as well as showcasing the absurdity of actually planning an attack. All the while, Riz leads this bumbling ensemble to a dark but hilarious conclusion. 2. The Sisters Brothers this western takes several of the usual western tropes and turns them around. The ensemble cast stands out in their own way, with Riz providing a very compelling and mysterious supporting role up until the end of his time on screen. 3. Shifty This hard dramatic look at drug dealing and the consequences of addiction really brings a harrowing reality to a story being told. Riz uses his talent for intensity to exude confidence and humanity in equal parts, and this allows his role to be more interesting than the script alone would have made it. 4. Nightcrawler this high-stakes nighttime thrill ride about first response news crews is a remarkably complex film. Riz gets to play a role with far less control, and his contrast with lead Jake Gyllenhaal is absolutely dynamic from beginning to end. 5. Sound of Metal One of the best character roles brought to the screen, Riz takes this performance as a metal drummer coming to terms with his hearing loss to places of extreme depth without losing the reality of the character. It's small and quiet in places and loud and aggressive in others, and the whole thing is centered on Riz's incredibly human character study. And that? is why Riz Ahmed is a tough act to follow. Thank you for watching. What Riz Ahmed roles have you found the most interesting? Who are some other actors who are breaking down stereotypes? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give it a like. If you do, I will show you my secret chemical formula to reveal gold in the water. And if you know someone who would love this video, please feel free to share it. If you want even more of a tough act to follow, go check me out on Patreon. Get scripts, notes, bloopers, along with a shout out like my stellar parents. Thanks, Mom and Dad. And to ensure you never miss an episode of a tough act to follow, one to watch, complex casting, or welcome to the party, pal, be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. And as I always say, thanks for taking the time to get illuminated.